My father did not want a second child, which was me. He tried beating my mother to miscarriage, and she was beaten one day really bad, and she went to the hospital, and the doctors had told her that it was gonna be a small chance that I'd make it, but thank God I did make it, and that's how I came to be Osiris. Every year in Orange County, there are over 30,000 reports of child abuse, neglect, and abandonment, 30,000. I was one of them. My name is Osiris, and this is my story. She was in and out of jail for possession of drugs, drug use, she made drugs, and she was involved with drag racing and different things like that. Just that led to bigger things. Her and I have never really connected as we've never had a mother-daughter relationship. Her being in and out of my life, it was all, always really difficult and I got to a point where I kind of just gave up. I had my grandparents and then again my teachers. My grandpa was always also there as a father figure. He did pass away when I was about fourth grade and my parent-teacher conferences would take place at home because my grandma wasn't healthy enough to walk to my school and go. So all my teachers would go to my house. Fifth grade promotion, my mom was out of jail and she didn't go. So it was just like bummed out because there were so many things that I wish she was there for me, but she was in jail, so I understand. And then when she had a chance to be there, she wasn't. I was picked up by a police officer and social services. And as soon as I got there, I was asked if there was any of my family members who were willing to take me in. After calling a few, there was no response from any of them. They weren't willing to take me in. So that's when I let them know about joining Jim Greenwood, which is my third grade teacher and her husband. And within a week, all the paperwork and background, they were all worked out. And I was able to be placed at their home by the end of that week or so. During high school, I was about 16 years old, starting to get different papers, reports, and stuff due. So within my family, we didn't have a laptop, computer, no electronics. So school would close at three. So along with that closing time, computers and library was closed as well. I was speaking to my previous social worker, and he told me about OCF, Orangewood Foundation. And that's when I came here, and I would come here almost daily, just work on papers. And it was nice to come here, do my work, get a hot meal here. here. And along with that, I just saw a lot of the youth talking to the staff about their own personal lives. So what really, what I loved about the staff here is they're interested to help you and to hear about you. And I just fell in love with that to the point where I would just come here and talk to the staff and ask them how their day was going and just on my free time would come up here. One of them is the Children Trust Fund Scholarship. I'm receiving 5000 from Children's Trust Fund. If I could describe Orangewood in one word, it would be family. The whole foundation, including the home, everything is they, they're a big family that just help the youth. They provide love, care, and support, which is three things that I see are like the big words in family. We can come here and talk to staff. They care for us, and they help us find shelter. We don't have nowhere to live. I want 
to do exactly what Joy Greenwood did for myself. I want to come back to Santa Ana and teach in a school here where youth not only needs education but help within their personal lives. And I want to reach out to those youth who need the help. Whether it's being getting the help to getting placed in a transitional housing, getting help to go to college, or just help within your own life you're already creating. It's just, it's great for us to have someone like this, where people out of their own hearts are willing to spend their own days to help us create our own life. And which is why I believe that Orangewood is the happiest place on earth for us foster youth. This is my story. There are thousands of others just like me.